Hello and welcome to today's very special Bitcoin technical analysis that I have for you today where I'm going to be going through this chart and the expected volatility increase that we are going to be getting here. So we could potentially see a very nice move today. So I'm going to be covering my thoughts on this, how we could expect to potentially not fade any breakouts that come. And, uh, you know, essentially trade the range for what it is. So hope that you enjoy this one. It's going to be so good. Uh, let's begin with the technical analysis side of it. Uh, jumping straight into really, um, I suppose before we get into this, let's just remind ourselves once more. We're obviously trading lows to the highs to the lows to the highs to the lows to the highs to the lows. Uh, potentially back up to the highs of this current range. Okay, so we've got a bigger range going on. Within that range, we all know we have like ranges within ranges within ranges. And you can see here how on, let's go on to the one hour chart here. You can see how on this um one hour chart how we have previously rotated from monthly or well, I guess really if you look at it like this it's lovely when you see the reactions that you've had off of weekly okay from weekly support to weekly resistance so these are your overall boundaries of the range and then you obviously have within that the low of the higher the high of the lower channel as the support to the the low of the higher channel as resistance and within that, you even have more locally from the high of the channel to around this monthly to the point of control of the whole range, which is around 9,500. So currently, you have obviously got ranges within ranges, within ranges, within ranges. And even here down on like the 15 minute chart, you are also in another range right now, which is again, this is like an hourly range that you've got going on here. And then within that, you also have this range that's going on, deviation from the range going on here so you literally have within ranges within ranges within ranges it's like a fractal isn't it so it's, it is really 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 nice um so this is kind of how you've got to be trading this you have got to be trading with not a moon boy mindset not thinking every breakout is going to get followed through and every breakdown you don't don't be a perma bear thinking you know short every rise just literally buy the lows sell the highs i make it sound really really easy but it actually is not that complex uh, <laughs> so obviously this was all started from the uh, bounce off of that monthly uh, sorry, bounce off the lower, bounce off the high of the lower channel. Then obviously you put in that uh, bearish Gartley harmonic. Okay, you had the drop down from there with your lower highs, lower lows. Come down, swing failure to lows. Again, not a hard trade. That was all kind of predicted that would happen in, you know, before it happened. And then I was saying, you know, as we were down here, this was where everyone was really bearish. Again, whole world really bearish. Stock market was really bearish. Looking for at least a run of the highs. You ran those highs and then you got the pullback last night onto the monthly. So, really 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 nice ranges and like technical analysis being very well respected so then what have we got going on here i would say you've got currently daily resistance 9525 monthly support 9339 with a bigger support lower down 9250 and a bit of a bigger resistance 9600 right down those levels okay right down those levels because i'm telling you that's so important you know you're watching this video because i guess you want to become a trader so you know take notes of what i'm giving you because it's so crucial and and just really good information so those are the levels that I've been trading off of this morning, okay? Um, and then I'm going to give you uh, some more statistics here, which are just beneficial. So, as you all know, uh, these these are some statistics, some, some statistics, and I have this built up over the past few years. But as you can see, this is a collection of data primarily from this year. And as you can see, our, our highly volatile day lately has been Thursday. Okay, so Thursday is, you know, out of our days, it's the, the day with the most volume. Okay, so here is this data composed into a bar chart. You can see Thursday is the day with the most volume. Okay, by far, it's got the most volume. And the time of day when this volume comes in is around the 2 to 3 p.m. times. Okay, specifically 2.30 is when you see the upticks in volume and again at daily close primarily. Okay, London open. And then so it's really obvious actually. London open, then around the US open, then obviously your daily close is natural really. But, you know, using this information can give you great and it can give you an edge in trading. If you're aware of these statistics... OK, if you know how to record it or just get the statistics from websites and once you've got these statistics, then you can actually convert this into an edge in trading. So I could say to myself, using this hard evidence that I have, I would be unlikely to look to fade a move if it's coming into this hour, especially with the US stock market moving. I'd be unlikely to look to fade it because historically speaking, we've seen the, the volume injections on these days and these hours and they have had follow through. OK, just think back to last Thursday. 
is when we had this really big move to the downside. Okay, so when you're seeing these big moves to the downside happen on the Thursday, you're not going to look to fade it, are you? you, don't, you know, why would you look to fade this? Because it's happening on statistically a high volatile day where we, we generally see great follow through. You know, using this evidence, you would not fade. And as you know, last week, we obviously, well, I did anyway, shorted 10,000. And we obviously had that lovely move to the downside. And again, if we start to get a breakout today, again, we're, we're going to be unlikely to look to fade it. OK, uh, especially if it's coming in with the correlation that is, you know, still really, really strong off the markets. OK, off the US stock market, UK market, obviously heavy, heading down at the moment. ES heading down. But, you know, this open is in about one and a half, um, you know, one and a half, two hours. This is where we're going to be really interested in it. So we can take it a little bit slow currently and then pick up again, maybe in about an hour and a half, two hours. And then let's see how the, let's see how the open goes. So I'll be really interested in the initial balance, which is around 30 to one hour of the, you know, the open. This is when I'm going to get really, really interested in trading again, taking a few sort of quicker trades this morning. And um, I'm going to actually attach a video from this morning's champions uh, and contenders live stream that I done. So I done a I done a contenders live stream last night. OK, where I was talking through this whole section uh, of why I thought that this was a weak, um, weak, weak move here. And we were expecting another move to the downside because there was no volume. And obviously that happened. But nevertheless, I done another live stream this morning. OK, uh, where, by the way, I have started a new. Obviously, I've already done a two to 20 Bitcoin challenge, completed that challenge. So now I'm doing a five to 50 uh, Bitcoin challenge, which is, uh, you know, fifty thousand dollars to around five hundred thousand dollars, you know, depending on the price of Bitcoin. So this is a live uh, training challenge that I'm giving myself at the moment. Currently, I'm in this one. Uh, but what I'm going to show you is a clip from this morning's live stream where I had this short preset, got filled during the during this morning's live stream and then come down, hit profit, hit take profit, compounded that back on. As you can see, this was compounded to the exact wick, exact wick of the high. Like the position that I'm doing at these trades is amazing. And again, like the reason I'm doing this with like real money is because there's a there's a massive difference between ch charting, giving nice charts, giving technical analysis and actually having money on the line. Um, you know, there's a big psychological barrier between them. So I'm mainly primarily doing this just to show people, you know, you, you know, it's, it's all about the, it's all about the technical analysis. Um, primarily. So um, I'm going to attach a, a clip to the this live stream at the end of this. So you can have this little special update to see what that's like if you're interested in that. Uh, but, you yeah. know. Really, the, the last thing I'm going to end with, it, once again, keep your eyes, please, please, please. If you take one tip away, take the tip that I'm giving you here that Thursday around 2 to 3 p.m. is when you get increases in volatility. If you get breakouts during this time, one would not look to fade it. OK, that's really, really simple. And this can definitely provide you an edge in your trades. Um, and on top of that, I've given you the range that I'm currently looking at, which is around 9500 to 9339. And that's the day trade range that I believe that we are in. And again, like if you just mark out the ranges, like you can see that this is kind of your, you know, range that you are really kind of coming into. OK, so you can see you have like a bigger highs then you have the a sub of this. So you could say that this is your highs, this is your low and this is the midpoint of the range. And obviously you rejected, you know, this morning off of the, the midpoint of that range. And within that, you obviously have deviations, OK, where you can look for trap traders. And, you know, everything I would just say is really, really, really technical. So it is lovely trading. I'm very content and happy with it. Um, but yeah, that, that's my bonus words. And I'll end this um, this static video with you. Um, Giving you the key levels, I think you've got to trade the range until it breaks, okay? And I might make that seem really uh, easy, easier said than done, but it it's not overly complex. You know, once you learn what you're actually doing and the statistics to, to watch, I suppose, like this is not so hard trading. It's really, really slow. It's really, really like, quote unquote, easy trading. Um, so, you know, that's the range that I'm currently trading. As you can see, that's the position that I'm currently in. Um, but yeah, I might close out of this depending on how the US market opens. So, you know, don't think, oh, Daniel's in a short right now. I better enter into a short. You know, I could definitely have closed this out and look for a long uh, by the time the US market opens, which is in about one one hour. Uh, one, what is it? Uh, one, about one and a half hours. OK, so. If we get an, if we actually get a buyback off of this, which is going to gap down, then I do think you can be looking up to around nine thousand eight hundred potentially. Okay, obviously it's weak at the moment. So if, if you know this is uh, this is the thing, it is weak at the moment. So, uh, but yeah, I would say if you break if you break up from this range, I'd look towards nine thousand eight hundred to ten thousand. If you break down from this, I think you're going to look down towards again nine thousand. To be honest with you, nine thousand. Obviously you got that that monthly nine three three nine. So nine three three nine. 9,000 and then 8,700 and above you 9,800, 10,172 uh, but you know locally there 9,500 okay so those are your sort of local levels 
Um, yeah, so there you go. There's, there's today's update, technical analysis. I hope that you've enjoyed this. I hope that you uh, appreciate me sharing with you this. Um, if you want to see me live trading, okay, where I literally caught that short on live stream, um, you know, you see how I'm entering, get my thought processes, all of that good stuff, um, you know, then chart champions, I will, um, you know, be sharing all this with you. Uh, so yeah, thank you once again, everybody. Hope that you've enjoyed. And, uh, you know, if you have, give me a thumbs up on this video. Always appreciated the thumbs ups uh, <laughs> or a thumbs down. As I always say, give a thumbs down if you haven't enjoyed it. You know, that you're up, you know, absolutely obliged uh, or welcome to thumbs up or thumbs down the video. Anything helps. And, um, you know, have a brilliant day. And uh, yeah, let, let's get ready for the US stock market. One and a half hours. I'm ready. Hope you are too. And let's crush the charts. Cheers, everybody. Thank you and goodbye. Bye. Bye. Hello, everybody. Hope that you're doing well this morning and welcome to the update that I have for you. It's a bit of a special one today where I think I've found a little, uh, like an amazing kind of trick uh, to make some pretty easy money. So, um, use of caution i'm going to start off this video by saying not financial advice. Um, do your own research and all that good stuff. I'll load up the disclaimer not financial advice, educational stream only. Um, yeah, I hope that you enjoy and you can take something from this. So make sure you pause and read that. And let's go into the charts. I want to start off with, um, I've got a few th few things that I want to go through this morning. I want to go through the a wrap up from last night's live stream. So obviously last night we were in this section of the chart. Actually, we were in this particular section here. And I want to go through how that obviously played out and what, what we're at now how I'm actually trading it now, um, but I want to start with this kind of little uh, cool little trick, I suppose, that I've found, um, and, and I found it kind of by accident, I suppose, last night, um, and I, I'm going to talk you through what it is now. Um, so as you know, yesterday, in yesterday's stream, we were in this section of the chart, okay, and I was, you know, spent a good hour going over this, like showing you all that there was, uh, it, <clears throat> you know, it was unlikely that we were going to bounce from here or there was just no need to buy in this section of the chart because we had come down, we had seen ultra low volume, we had seen no aggressive buyers and it was just like you had reached a point where it was it was just unlikely to bounce. We were either waiting for the claim of 9425 or we were waiting for a drop down and you know, naturally the drop down was more likely and that's exactly what happened. On that drop down, that's where you're going. So, I don't know, that was a little bit annoying. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, so you know they, they've clearly that's clearly a, a run at the moment because just look at the open interest. Open interest massively declined. Uh, longs actually closing out here. Shorts are opening up. So you know you wouldn't want to necessarily. Um, well, I wouldn't buy this. I I, I would I would favour a short. But uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so I guess for a more bigger term time frame perspective, uh, I think that today, well, unless this is the high of the day right now, uh, which it could be, but if it's not the high of the day right now, then I think you've got this range that's going to likely go on. Okay, if you get this back test of not about 9,450, then you're going to be looking up to the higher the range and potentially looking at this as your daily range. A few fee... Oh, okay, so the ES is pulling back as well. So this might be why you're seeing it all together. So um, <clears throat> I obviously i am liking the correlation on this. It's, it's not a like... <clears throat> oh my sorry um i think that this is just another you know we're, we're still keeping an eye on the es correlation okay the US, uk stock market pulling back as well so um i do think that they're two really big markets to pay attention to you know i think you just got to pay attention to those markets at the moment um yeah that's only going to be beneficial to you so make sure you keep your eye on that um so yeah there you go that's um I think that's everything that I wanted to say about in this in this uh, update. So I talked you through uh, obviously yesterday's live stream. Please, please, please watch yesterday's live stream like ten times over because I literally uh, was really, really proud of yesterday's live stream because of the fact I literally I don't know it just was really amazing the way that I was like do not buy it or I was just saying like I wouldn't buy this area you know I wouldn't buy this because it's so so it's for it was, in my opinion like really really weak. And then the way that we dropped, oh, sorry, it was on this section. <laughs> I was saying, do not buy this section because it's really, really weak. And then, oh no, sorry, it was here. Oh my. <laughs> I was saying, do not buy this. Third time, lucky. I was saying, do not buy this section because it's really, really weak. You want to wait for the volume increase. You want to wait for those upticks. And then it literally happens. And then I managed to like record it and ha while it was happening. And I don't know, it was just a lovely, lovely, lovely example where it managed to get into that long. And obviously, well, on my BitMEX account, I closed it out at 9425. You had that pullback. And then, well, I would have got filled actually on this buy bear account when I, I forgot about this. I forgot I even let. Yeah, that was the that was the order from last night then filled. So that was what I put on before I went to sleep. Um, So let's just see what we have in here then. 
yeah, I'll probably take it at the lows here. Nine three, uh, nine three nine one, uh, nine three. Ah, oh, so that's off the point of control. There, I would like to take the lows there. Nine three, nine two, and I'll probably take like forty percent. So what's this? Fifty. Let's just take twenty uh, k. You know, there you go. So pretty nice start to the morning I suppose <laughs> um, anyway there you go so that, that's the update for today I hope that you've enjoyed this one I'll uh, upload it for the website so people can watch it back because I feel it was a nice one I, I managed to I'm just so proud of that trade yesterday like that trade for me yesterday was just perfection the way that I like literally was saying don't buy any of this wait for the volume you had the volume managed to get into that long oh Christ I've done it again get into that long here trade it back up to that target and I don't know it just was so perfect and so nice uh, so yeah very proud of that one I uh, hope that you learned a lot i saw a lot of really really lovely comments i guess i'll show some of the comments um and it's absolutely lovely um so yeah i i, I loved waking up and seeing all those all those comments this morning you know <laughs> this one made me laugh but you know it's, it's really 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 brilliant so honestly thank you so much and i'm glad you're absolutely loving it because you know, that's why I'm here to to make you love trading. Go from the person that hates trading because they always lose to actually make a load of money because they always win. Like, that's what I'm here for. So, <laughs> hope that you've enjoyed it. Um, and, uh, yeah, there, there's the morning update. Um, final words, I suppose, that if this, you know, I was saying, you know, this could be the higher the day. If that is the higher the day, then I think you're going to look down to the boards and the monthly once more, to be honest with you. Uh, see, you can see how the reaction goes off of this low. Obviously, that low there where I've put in, my take profit is obviously the low of this move and potentially the low of this channel. Um, yeah, I think that's everything. Uh, I'll, you know, I'm going to be around all day in the chat. So if there's anything else that you need, then just at me in here and I will uh, get back to you. And this was a pretty cool one, by the way. This this was my notes because everyone else was posting their notes today. I went back into my old uh, sort of journal and this is this is the notes from uh, back in 2000 and what, 2018, early 2000. 18 yeah from where we were trading up at around the 20k mark and yeah this was this was a blast in the past let's say um and that's take profit hit by the way there's take profit hit there you go lovely uh brilliant start to the day very happy with that one <laughs> um yeah so there you go i'm gonna wrap this up uh thanks everybody hope that you thoroughly enjoyed this one and um yeah i'll catch you over in the chat brilliant start cheers everybody thank you and goodbye